Hey guys, today we are going to explore this place called Sigiriya in Sri Lanka, which is commonly known as Ravana's Palace. It is a very fascinating place and on top of this rock, we have some amazing ruins. But once you reach the top and you observe what's going on at the ground level, we can see some really bizarre details. Sigiriya is surrounded by a massive jungle and we can see numerous huge rocks placed all around. To a regular tourist, this appears quite normal. It's only natural to have rocks on the ground. But if you zoom in with your camera, you realize that these rocks have been put there and have the most bizarre tool marks which cannot be explained. For example, look at this rock. It literally has hundreds of small cubes cut out of it. And on the top, we even have a larger cube cut out as though someone wanted to sit there and perform some kind of an experiment. Why would anyone scoop out hundreds of cubes on a rock? Pay close attention to what is around this rock. You can see there is yet another rock hidden and it also has these cube marks all over it. I have spotted so many rocks like this. Look at this rock. Again, located in the middle of the jungle with nothing around it. But trees has so many cubes cut out all over it. The whole jungle is full of hundreds of these rocks, if not thousands. This rock, for example, it looks natural to the human eye. Is this a natural rock untouched by ancient boulders? If you zoom in, you can see the tool marks, the same cube marks cut all over it. But maybe you're not satisfied because I wasn't satisfied myself. So let us go down and take a look at how it looks from the ground level. Now, this is how it looks from the ground level. I mean, Look at these tool marks. This is just bizarre. We have to admit that ancient boulders were doing something which is beyond our understanding. After exploring this area for so many days, I can tell you that the jungle is full of these rocks which have all been worked on. And archaeologists have no idea why these cuts were made were doing with these rocks. The technology behind this is so far advanced, we have no idea why these were created. And this raises a very important question. Did they just work on these rocks that were already there? Or did they also transport and place these rocks here, strategically all around the Sigiriya rock? I ask this because it appears that these rocks are strategically placed and look as though they were set up to make it specifically visible from the top of Sigiriya. Now let's go back to why these cubes were scooped out. Archaeologists have no answer for this, but locals call them Ravana rocks and claim that originally these cube slots had lenses attached to them. It is said that lenses made of crystals were placed in these slots. Imagine how it would have looked. This would be a stunning sight to see. What would have been the purpose of this? Was it some kind of a light technology where they used to focus sunlight to a specific point. Today, we use various lenses like Fresnel lens, for example, to heat, melt, and tap solar energy. 
were ancient builders using a similar technology. Remember, we saw these grooves and holes all over the rock face on the Sigiriya rock itself, were lenses placed on these slots and holes as well. Is this why we see these weird cuts and slots all around? What could be the purpose behind placing thousands of lenses in clusters all around a place like this? Why did ancient builders do this? <laughs>